Hey guys, this is Reggie from Restore Plus Physical Therapy and welcome to today's tip of the day. Now, as you know, I'm on a mission to end chronic pain. And to end chronic pain or to avoid pain, uh, sometimes you have to avoid getting injured. Now, it can be at work or it can be in you know, sports or recreation. Uh, it can be any of those things. Now, avoiding injuries is not only for older people. So I want to address a lot of times they have this false belief that injury is only for older people. So I want to address that because uh, injuries can occur in, in teenagers, in adolescents, right? In, in, in young people too. So I want to uh, mention something that is often overlooked when it comes to avoiding injuries. Okay, so this is the reason why I'm creating this video to get people to be aware of uh, another way to avoid injury. A lot of times when, uh, for the students, student athletes, adolescents, um, you know, teenagers, one of the ways that they avoid injuries is they have to, like they exercise, they train, uh, they have uh, injury prevention, uh, stretching, all these kinds, right? Uh, but one thing that a lot of people are forgetting is going back to the basic. Uh, what I mean by basic is uh, sleep. Now, studies have shown that, actually I came across this study, it was published in the uh, uh, Journal of uh, Pediatric Orthopedics. They did this study in LA, it was uh, I think a junior high school, high school, and they conducted a study among, I think it's 112, they studied the high school athletes there, or the junior high school, high school athletes, and they found that there's a direct relationship between the hours of sleep, uh, compared to the injury rate. So what they found is that students who, or athletes who slept less than eight hours a day were 1.7 more times to get injured, more likely to get injured than the athletes who slept more than or equal to eight hours a day. So that's a significant number, meaning if you slept less than eight hours a day, you're almost twice as likely to get injured as compared to people who slept eight hours or more, right? So uh, parents or even, you know, the teenagers, uh, you know, the adolescents, I want you to remember this because that's a significant number. If you're an athlete, you don't want to take the chance that you'll be twice as more likely to get injured, all right? Uh, so I want everybody to, you know, be aware of that. Uh, that's something that should be part of, you know, your your program to avoid injury. So I want everybody to at least be aware of that. You know, go back to the basics. You don't have to go through, you know, anything fancy. Uh, you know, at that stage, especially some of the schools or sometimes the parents or, you know, they really just do things on their own. So let's go back to the basic. Let's make sure that the kids, you know, that the people have enough sleep so they can be healthier and they can avoid injuries. All right, so I want you to start practicing that, start doing that, and then let me know. Feel free to send me your comments. Feel free to share this with uh, you know, people you know, all right? Uh, now, if and the unfortunate incident happened that you do get injured, you know, we're here for you. We see patients like that regularly. Um, we'll be able to set you up uh, with a quick you know, consultation. That way, we can get you back to, uh, on, your way, on your way to recovery fast, all right? You can uh, contact us through email or through the contact page in our website, or you can call us in a number somewhere in this page, all right? So feel free to share this with uh, family, friends, uh, you know, like us on Facebook, uh, you can uh, follow us on the Instagram, or subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll learn more uh, on our tips for injury prevention or tips for ending chronic pain. All right, so I'll see you on the next episode of how to end chronic pain. Stay safe and stay pain-free. Bye.